Hello everybody! So this week I am going to be doing a prom video. I'm super excited for this video. I know a lot of people have probably already had their proms at this point, but mine is actually this Friday um, as I'm filming this. I'm filming it before prom because today is actually the day that I'm getting ready for prom, but I'm really just like testing to make sure I like how my makeup turns out and how my hair turns out. On Friday, I'm actually going to be getting ready with a bunch of my friends and I really wanted to film a prom get ready with me, but I think it may end up being super hectic. But for a more in-depth like what I'm actually doing, I thought I would film today. So yeah, we're just gonna start with the makeup, I guess. <laughs> To be honest, I'm not even entirely sure what I'm doing. I haven't had much time to think about it. You're going to see my dress later, but it's a kind of nude color with a white overlay. So I think I just want to keep the makeup really natural and dewy and fresh um, and not do anything too intense. I make Pinterest boards with like all of my inspiration photos. I really like this one. I don't know if you can see it. The glare from the window might be a little too intense, but you might go for something kind of like that. This will probably be very roughly inspired though. I'm probably gonna go off on a bit of my own rabbit trail after we get started. The first thing I'm going to do is just pull my hair back. There's no man. Not exactly the cutest look, but we're just gonna just gonna go with that. The first thing I'm going to do is foundation. Also, just ignore all of my scars and a couple acne bumps on my chin. I had a little breakout on my chin recently, so we're just gonna try to cover that up a little. But I'm just going to start by using um, my Mary Kay foundation. Um, it's the Luminous Wear foundation, and I really, really like it. And I'm just gonna put that all over my face. Next, I'm going to be going in with concealer. I have two shades here. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I have the shades 10 and 15, and I'm going to be using the darker shade to conceal any blemishes I have, and the lighter shade for under my eyes and anywhere I want to bring a little more light to. I don't really like to do a ton of concealer. I like to go very lightly. I'm going to take my Mary Kay translucent powder and my beauty sponge again. I just get a light amount. I'm not going to bake or anything. I'm just going to use this to set the areas of my face that tend to get oily. I'm not going to powder everywhere though because I want my foundation to stay really luminous and kind of untouched by the powder. I don't know, there are so many people who are so much better at makeup than I am, so please don't judge me. Next, I am going to do some bronzing slash contouring. I'm going to take my NYX Wonder Stick in the shade Light Medium. And you can see it's pretty much gone, but I'm gonna be using the contour side. So that looks really intense right now. And I'm just gonna take a brush from Real Techniques and start blending it out. I think since this is prom, I do want to go a little more dramatic than I usually do. So I'm going to take a little bit of this color from my Anastasia contour palette. I have that under my cheekbones as well. So next I'm going in with my Pula bronzer from Benefit. Mostly focusing this around the edges of my face so it's a little softer. And under the jawline. Usually I never use blush, so 
I'm very torn as to if I want to do that or not. I think it would be really nice since I'm going for such a nude look to add a little color, but I don't, don't know. Okay, so the two that I'm between right now are Exposed from Tarte and Candid Coral from e.l.f. I really like both of these blushes. The Tarte one is matte and the e.l.f. one has a little bit of a glow to it. It's kind of like a blush highlighter -y mix. I'm gonna do some highlight. I'm gonna be using my favorite highlight. It is from ColourPop in the shade Lynch Money. Next, I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to prime my eyelids, so I'm going to be using my eye primer from e.l.f. Also, excuse my eyebrows right now. I still need to do them. I'm actually going to go have them done before prom, so that's very exciting. That'll be really fun. Honestly, I feel like this is the most unprepared I've ever been for prom, but at the same time, not. <laughs> I think I'm just really busy because this is my senior year, so I just haven't planned out my makeup and hair as much as I have in previous years. Still need to paint my nails, figure out kind of what I'm doing, which is part of the exciting bit of this video today. I think I decided I'm going to use the color Marzipan from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I hate to jump around palettes because I feel like that makes it really hard to follow if you want to recreate this at home. But I might do that just because there are so many like different browns that I want to use. But I'm going to go into my Naked Basics palette and use the color Naked 2. It's just a very nice nude kind of gray toned brown, which is really good in my skin tone especially for transitioning. So I'm going to go in with Milk Chocolate from this palette. Still kind of cool tone, but more in the middle. So I'm gonna make it a little darker and I'm going to go in with Semi Sweet from the Chocolate Bar palette. Just in the kind of upper outer V is where I'm gonna focus it. Then I'm gonna go back in with that first shade, Naked 2 and put it in between my outer V and that marzipan color to help keep it all blended together. Next, I'm going to take the color WOS from the Naked Basics palette and highlight my brow bone just a little bit. It's a matte shade, so it's not gonna be too much, but bring a little bit of light there and help separate our brow from that color we put all the way around our eye so it doesn't look muddy. And then I'm going to go in to my inner corner with the highlight shade we put all over our face actually to kind of keep the colors blended together. Get a consistent highlight across the face. I'm going to take some of Naked 2 on the sloppy brush and just go under my lower lash line. I'm not gonna be too precise with it. I just want it to kind of be a little bit of color on the bottom lash line and help fill it out so it doesn't look too top heavy. I'm going to go ahead and move on to liner. I'm going to take the Rimmel Scandalize Eye Coal in the color Nude and just line my waterline. And then I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Black Eye Coal. It's actually really, really creamy. I really like it. And I'm going to tight line. Move on to my brows. Like I said, I still need to get them done, and so they're a little messy right now, but I'm just gonna try to keep them really natural and fluffy. I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Definer in the color Brunette. And then I'm going to take a spoolie from e.l.f. and blend it all out. Next, I'm going to take a lip liner this one is from NYX and it's in the color Mauve. It's really close to my natural lip color. I'm just going to line my lips. I'm not gonna overline them or anything. I'm going to take my Sephora lipstick in the color Tan Lines and put that kind of lightly all over my lips. And then on top of that, I'm going to layer a gloss from NYX in the color Tiramisu. 
I really like how this is turning out so far. It's very natural and glowy. So I think the last thing I'm going to do is curl my lashes and put on mascara. I think I'm going to call that finished. While I let my curling wand heat up, because I know I want to do some nice kind of like something soft and romantic and loose curls, um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going back to Pinterest. I really like this, but I'm really bad at hair, so probably not going to attempt that. This is really pretty too though. And it looks a lot simpler. We might use those as our inspiration pictures and just go for some big loose curls and then work off of that. This is where I'm going to want my hair parted. I'm also doing a couple smaller sections. Since I want big, loose waves, I want to keep everything very varied. It is half of my head curled. I'm just gonna go back and make sure there aren't any random little pieces like this that are straight that I missed. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. This is it, and I'm gonna kind of shake them out and separate them, loosen them up a little bit. And then I'm also going to go in with some Rusk Weightless Hairspray. This is my favorite hairspray. If you have hair that's really difficult to curl, it's very lightweight, but it has a really good hold. So it helps to not weigh your hair down too much. I'm honestly really happy with the curls. Like, just as is but i think i am going to try that hairstyle that i had kind of taken as an inspiration picture she basically just had like a portion of her hair twisted to the back and then pinned in like a little loop i'm gonna section off some hair and attempt to do that to try to pull this hair around my crown to keep it kind of voluminous and touch up the curls on my bangs. And that is the finished look.